With only one week till election, Donald Trump makes a surprise appearance at NYU. We are so excited because Donald Trump is about to come down to NYU's campus to rally one last time in front of his adoring fans because there is nothing NYU loves more than a little bit of Trump. Millennials love Trump. I want it huge. I want the huge size. Huge. Huge. Fantastic. Mr. Trump held a rally for the student body and professors in the school's new technology wing. You see what's going on in China, in Mexico, and now in Aleppo. The polling is crooked, and so is Hillary. We got a chance to speak to some of the students after the rally. I honestly don't know if that was actually him. Why is he here? This is the most liberal place on the planet. What I really don't get is why is he, why is he coming to NYU? Why isn't he in Florida? Why isn't he in Texas? God knows he might lose it. All right, so we are out here at NYU. See, you know, seeing the crowd, seeing the people, loving the people, and seeing what our fellow Trump supporters are saying. Let's go out and see. Oh, here's one right now. And the quick question that I have for you, Isabel, FMK, Trump, 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 and why is your answer all of the above? So tell us why you absolutely, positively adore Trump. Adore? What? Are you kidding me? Uh, I would kill Trump first, and then I would kill myself second, so that I wouldn't have to do any of the other two. What, what do you like about Donald Trump's policies? Dude, a Donald Trump, are you serious? I hate him. I hate him so much. This is New York City. You're in New York City. Nobody here likes Donald Trump. I'm in New York City. Everybody loves Donald Trump. Oh. They have a tower for him. You having a fantastic day? Sure. Yeah. Mine is huge. Where are you from? What do you think? China? Why? Are you from China? Favorite kind of cake. I always love cake. I know a lot of great cake tiers, cake masters, very high up in the cake world. Believe me, I love cake. And I do have a thing for Red Velvet. Thank you, next question. He kept saying the same thing over and over again, and I didn't quite know what to make of it. Lightweight, fantastic, believe me. Easy. The ratings are huge, believe me. He says the same things over and over again, same hand gestures. Are you excited to vote on November 8th? Red ballot? Uh, I would be not a uh, red ballot. You've been not in on it. Bernie's going to win. We're going blue all the way. When Bernie wins, we'll all be free. Free college, free medicine. You're defending him? You're, you're saying, what do I love about his policies? What do I love about his policies? Absolutely nothing. Bernie will legalize marijuana. He'll legalize prostitution. You know, I used to wonder how Donald Trump could even get a woman or get a woman, and then we realized how by when that freaking Access Hollywood video. Bernie, feel the burn, not chlamydia, man. Bernie. He's so sexist, and like his views on women are so horrible, and I was like, don't want someone like that running America. Mr. Trump attempted to correct these false accusations. Hello, sorority sisters of Delta Nu. Nobody has more respect for women than I do. Believe me. You are not nasty women, believe me. Women for Trump. Fantastic. It's gonna be huge. See ya. <laughs> he even met with some of the school's athletes. <laughs> Mr. Trump then took it to the streets. Our roads are terrible. It looks like we're living in a third world country. Look at this road, day one. We will open these roads, believe me. Day one, believe me, you will be riding a bike in the park, believe me. Day one, I will find that chihuahua and I personally will go to Mexico and return El Gato. After listing off his plan for his first day in office, Mr. Trump spoke with many local vendors. Do you guys have Mexican taco bowls? Oh, this is huge, this is huge. The Mexican people, they love me. Fantastic. Mr. Trump hopes his visit will persuade the minds of any undecided votes. Well, there you have it, folks. The people love Trump. I mean, there were a few skeptics today, 
But there always are a few skeptics. But I believe in the American people that we are going to make the right decision for our country on November 8th. Donald Trump's hair. Donald Trump's hair. A girl could get lost in there. Way up in there. In Donald Trump's hair. I really don't care. If it's full of air. That must be so cold. Knock ices off the fence. Sounds like a good idea to me. Vote for Donald J. Trump, my friends. Make America great again. Try to keep a little walkway. Keep a walkway, guys. Keep a walkway.